the Quadstar Drones Arcs frame. Got a ZMX Phoenix 23, 2600 kV motors, or 2505, or sorry, 2205s, 2600 kV. Running a 4S 1000 milliamp hour graphene uh, from Turnigy. And uh, the Azure 5050 props, the polycarbonate ones. This thing without battery weighs 213 grams, as is. Uh, I think it's like 340 with the battery. I'll post up what it is. So let's do a little line of sight here and see how quickly this thing goes. All right, do some uh, top speed passes with this and see what they look like. <laughs> Punch out and three, two, one. Punch down. Stop. <laughs> See how it funnels. Uh, a little tricky to get the hang of it. be on the angle. So responsive. Something came off. Yeah, the battery. <laughs> All right, so it went down pretty hard. Battery came out. Evidently don't have it mounted in there well enough. However, I was a little scared that that was not going to take that tumble, but it actually took it quite well. There is none of the motor mounting plates moved or anything. Nothing is, nothing seems out of place on it. So put this battery back in and Fly it some more. So that crash, um, it's kind of a controlled crash. I saw the battery was up and I put it down sort of gently, but uh, as you saw, it wasn't that gentlest. So I'm gonna take it out, try it again. Got about a little bit less than half the battery left. So far, so good. So nimble, responsive.
compression like that would actually kind of push the battery in, so I shouldn't have to worry too much about it coming out. You have to be careful. Still wire. recording? Yeah. Okay, good. Ah, it's all good. Right, a little last punch out here. about your permission. <laughs> oh, man, that's it. Yeah, I that one, yeah. No. Broken arm. Broken arm on that one. I know it. Man, it's hot. And the motors are a little bit hot. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, a little bit toasty. So, uh, impacting in that angle from the bottom, not something you would typically impact like in racing, I guess, unless you're spinning out of control. That uh, just snapped off at that little part right there. But it's pretty easy to replace the arms. You know, it's pretty much like all race quadcopters. They're pretty fragile when you make them this light. You know, I love getting rocks in my motors. So, time to go home and get my rocks off. Bye.